In this video, I'm going to show you how to download the Fisk Superhero mod in Minecraft. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below and in the pinned comments where it will provide you with all the files and downloads that you will need in order to complete this. And it will also provide you with a written step-by-step -step tutorial. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and install Minecraft Forge for 1.7.10. We will need to download Forge because Forge is a mod loader and underneath step number one, you should see this link over here. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and just press on it just like so and again because we are downloading minecraft mod we will need a mod loader to basically allow this mod to actually be played into minecraft anyways guys once you're here all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on installer where it says download latest just like so and then all you got to do is you got to go ahead and just wait a couple seconds and go to the top right and press on this button over here that does say skip and now, as you're able to tell, we now have the Forge installer right over here. And while that's downloading, let me tell you guys about Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft servers where you're able to play multiplayer with you and your friends with a click of a few buttons. The best part about having your own Minecraft server is that you have full control over everything. You guys can make it crossplay, Java, Bedrock, etc. And you can even add custom plugins and mods. In fact, Simple Game Hosting specializes in creating modded servers. So if you want to create a modded server where you and all of your friends can be like the superheroes or the Avengers, for example, that is actually something that you could do thanks to Simple Game Hosting. And best of all, they have dozens of video guides showing you how to do every single process along with 24 seven live customer support. So guys, if this is something that sounds remotely interesting to you, then feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comments. All right, boys, that's enough yapping out of me. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and locate the forge installer file now depending on your web browser you may be able to see it on the top right like me but if you don't see it over here then what you could always do is just open up your file explorer and then look underneath downloads Anyways guys, all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and drag and drop the Forge installer to your desktop just like so. Alright guys, so we have the Forge installer and now let's head back over to the website and let's do step number two, which is to actually download the Fisk Superheroes mod. So underneath step number two, you're going to find this link over here and you just want to go ahead and press on it just like so. Alright, now all you got to do is you got to go ahead and wait for it to actually load in. And then once you're here, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and install the most recent version, which at the moment has been uploaded back in September 2024. So go ahead and press on these three dots and then go ahead and press on download file just like so. Now, just wait for it to install and it really shouldn't take that long either, but keep in mind it may take a little while and there you go. Okay, it is now going to begin installing. It takes around 14 megabytes worth of storage. So what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and drag and drop it to your desktop one more time. There you go. Now let's head back over to the website because there are still a few things that we need to do. Now, if you never downloaded mods before or Optifine or shaders, for example, then you will need to install Java. You will need Java in order to open .jar files, download mods, etc. So what you want to do is under step number three, you want to go ahead and press on this link just like so. And then it is going to open up a page that looks like this. It is going to be from the official oracle.com website. And you just want to double check that JDK21 is selected. And then from here, you guys can go ahead and select on your operating system. System, we can get Java for Linux, Mac OS, or even on Windows. So from here, please go ahead and select on your operating system. So me personally, I'm on a Windows, so I'll go ahead and select on Windows. Then I would install the x64 installer right over here. Then it is going to walk you through the setup wizard and it's incredibly basic. It really shouldn't take that long. They make it incredibly easy for you and they'll also give you in-depth instructions in the actual setup wizard itself. But if you guys are having a little bit of difficulty downloading Java, then what I personally recommend that you guys do is download and run the JarFix. The JarFix is an executable file that will run on your system and attempt to repair all of the .jar files that are not working, and it basically makes Java work. So what you want to do is you want to go underneath step number four, press on this link just like so, and eventually it is going to open up a page that looks like this, and you want to go ahead and select on jarfix.exe. Then after you went ahead and installed it, go ahead and run the file, and then it will attempt to repair all of the .jar files. All right, guys, so once you're done with that, what you want to do is you want to head back over to your desktop just like so. So at this point in time, we should have Java, the Forge installer, and the Fisk superhero mod right over here. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and right click on the Forge installer, go ahead and press on open with. Now, if you did install Java on your system like I told you to, then it is going to give you the option that says Java TM platform SE binary, and you just want to go ahead and press on that just like so. Then you want to go ahead and make sure that install client is actually turned on, then go ahead and press on OK. 
then go ahead and press on OK one more time. Once you're done with that, please go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher like you normally would. Once you're here, all you want to do is you want to make sure that job edition is selected and then all you want to do is you want to go to the top menu and press over here where it says installations. Then in this box that says versions, you want to make sure that modded is actually turned on because of course this is technically considered a modded version of Minecraft. Alright, but eventually all you want to do is you want to go ahead and find the option that says forge right over here and just double check that it actually does say 1.7.10 because that is the version of Minecraft that this mod is going to work on. So once you went ahead and located it, all you want to do is you want to go to the right and press on this folder icon and it will say open installations folder. Then you're going to get a bunch of folders that look like this, but do not worry because the only folder that you need to go ahead and focus on is the mods folder and it will be called mods in all lowercase. And if for whatever reason you do not see the mods folder, do not worry because what you need to do is you need to go ahead and right click, press on new and then folder and then call it mods in all lowercase. But again, that's only if you don't see the mods folder. If you already have the mods folder, then you are good to go. Anyways, from here, you just want to go ahead and open up the mods folder and at the moment it is currently empty. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be minimizing the Minecraft launcher. Now we're going to go ahead and drag and drop the Fisk superhero file inside of the mods folder just like so. So literally go ahead and drag and drop it. Bam. And once you're done with that, feel free to go ahead and close out of the mods folder. Then head back over to the Minecraft launcher. Go to the top menu, press over here where it says play. In the version selector, please double check that Forge 1.7.10 is actually selected. Then go ahead and press on play right over here. All right, guys, and here we are officially in Minecraft. So from here, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and load into a Minecraft world. All right, guys, once we're over here, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up the creative menu just like so. And then if we actually go ahead and take a look, you will notice that we will get all of the brand new items from the superhero. So we got like Deadpool's armor over here, Falcon, Spider-Man, Iron Man, Captain America, legit every superhero you could think of. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 400,000 subscribers. See you later, french fries.